Hello, I'm Anne Fox. I'm a tenant and advocate for the Church of Christ. I live in Ipswich in Queensland. I became involved with the Alliance because I am sick and tired of not being listened to. In Ipswich, we, the Queensland Community Alliance, decided to work on access to mental health after hearing stories from people who were dropping through the cracks. We approached the hospitals and the doctors and they agreed to work with us. We were granted $270,000 for a collective impact project. Through Churches of Christ, I have been challenged to do things I thought I could never do. I co-chaired an assembly of 100 people with the leading mayoral candidates in Ipswich. We asked them to confirm their commitment to working with us on the Mental Health Collective Impact Project. I think democracy only works if people get involved. We have to hold politicians to account. If I can do it at 70 years of age, surely you can. My name is Michelle Bayard and I'm a delegate for my union together. I'm a mother of four kids and I'm a social worker at the Prince Charles Hospital. I stepped up to be a leader uh, for my union when my boss and my organiser saw something in me that wanted to make a difference. I became a part of the Alliance when I found out that um, unions, churches and local organisations were meeting together and listening to community members about the problems they were facing. One of the big things that were really hurting people was the cost of parking at Prince Charles. Families that had cancer and heart disease that were really struggling at the local Catholic Church. We had a meeting with over 200 people and we decided to take action on this issue. We met with hospital management and the management of the car park. We decided together that we could introduce concessional parking at Prince Charles. This began in May of this year. Then in July, the Minister for Health, Cameron Dick, announced a statewide rollout of concessions based on the model that we started at Prince Charles Hospital. Getting together with the other people in the community that cared about the issues, uh, getting training, it just enabled me to be a part of something where we could really make a difference and that's what happened. We were able to change things for patients at Prince Charles Hospital. We were able to help them to access the hospital and that was a great win for them and that's why I'm part of the Alliance. My name is Christine Lapalapa and I'm a member of the St Maximilian Colby Catholic Parish. I'm a married working mother of three and I'm very proud to be a member of the Queensland Community Alliance. I got involved in the Alliance because of the inspiration of my late grandmother who always found time to give back to her community. We started in Logan. Churches, unions and community organisations got together to explore the importance of community organising. In 2014, we listened to stories of pressures that our community were facing and the issues were transport and safety. We started organising and we turned out 300 people and won commitments from our Logan City Council and state government. Every mayoral candidate promised to fund public transport in Logan and Mayor Luke Smith honoured his promise. Minister Jackie Trad announced trials for demand responsive transport and Australian First. Soon after, Minister Cameron Dick announced funding for three maternity hubs in Logan. We have demonstrated that we are a persistent, non-partisan, people power alliance. We're just getting started, but already we've won things that people thought were too hard. Now we are going to take the next step just imagine what we are going to achieve together.